So good afternoon. Today we're going to look at some Measure X. Uh, we're going to auto generate um, features from uh, a CAD DXF file. So, uh, so we here we are. We're going to first import our CAD model. Uh, CAD model looks like this right here. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to yeah make sure it's in the the units you're looking for, and ours is millimeters, and that's what I want. Uh, I am going to ori use orientation features, uh, and then I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to use this line right here, and I'm going to use this line right here. That should give me a good uh, part setup, and I will click next, and then uh, create my datums. I'm probably going to make my datums, uh, uh, you know what, I think I'll go with this line right here, and... We'll go with this line as well. I'll right, we'll just go ahead and finish. Now it's going to ask me to orient the parts right here. And so what I'll do is it's asking me right here. That's the first one. Line it there on that blinking part. And we'll go over and let's see here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I can see it a little better. There's the end, and there's the part I'm looking for, the line I'm looking for right here. And I will just click and drag my feature finder, and then I will click next. All right, and so it's asking me to pop feature two, and as soon as I start moving, it's going to flash down here. So if you look at that, let's see how it's done. It's looking for that. And I'll just scoot on over here. Yeah, it's for this line right here. Get that up in the center of the frame. My light's a little bit too much. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And then we'll go here. I'll click OK. And so what it should do is it should align now. It's going to create the datum as our first line. And it has brought in the it has brought in the uh, CAD model. There's our measurements. Uh, you can see the points that it's measured. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to auto generate auto generate uh, our some features. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my feature finder. I am going to go a little bit higher magnification, just so it comes in a little cleaner. Seems to have worked a little bit better. Um, yeah, so nearest feature, uh, it's going to create, there's nothing I'm going to really exclude, but I could go in and exclude some steps if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'm going to generate steps. My got my feature finder set at 50. Feature, I'm going to probably bump that up to 70. Cut at the end, let's go to 20. Yeah, we'll go at, you know, we'll just go, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at 10. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and generate steps. Let's have a little trouble on those small. If you notice right here, it's going through and measuring, following along. It's having a little trouble on the corners because it's trying to measure them as it's trying to measure them as uh, radiuses, radii. So it's having trouble every corner. I'd probably go through and exclude the corners unless I was trying to find res the radius of those corners. Just trying to see there quick for you. It's becomes pretty rough in there.
And there we go. We've generated our steps. Took a little longer than I thought it would, but if I go here, uh, I got my listing, and here it has every feature. Uh, so 347 steps. Notice that when it, uh, you know, you look at here, um, you're looking at a composite line, uh, whereas these are the individual lines that were that made up that composite line. So if you were so at this point now, with everything, uh, with everything uh, collected, now we could we could get some widths and distances. So we could get the width from that line, that composite line, to this. Uh, we could tolerance. I don't know what the distance is, but if we wanted to go in and tolerance, we could uh, just you know we're kicking that out. We'll click OK. And, you know, we've got that first one there. We could do the same thing, you know, here. Those wall thicknesses. And each time, you know, so go in there. Click, uh, you know, your tolerance. Notice it carried through, and that's fine. Uh, we'll just click again. And if you want to do some other stuff here and here. Uh... And that one can turn that on, click again, and each time, you know, if you want, if you're looking at widths, you could do that. Uh, if you want to do a full, and if you're looking at uh, maybe overall width from here, yeah, you could, you can construct anything that, just like in Measure X, you can do that. Um, if you needed to construct a, want to know what this angle was, we could do that. And this angle, angle here. And uh, put that in there. Tolerance it at one, one degree. And you know, so here we have, uh, yeah, we'll put that right there, 105 degrees. Uh, Pretty much anything that you go do in uh, Measure X, you you can do with this. Uh, you know, and what happens is that you know it collects the points from the CAD. A um, couple of the great features of that is that you can throw this CAD comparator. 
you can put the cat overlay the image and then it'll show you you know it's good low magnification a little easier to see but you can take a look at uh, you know how the CAD model matches up with that uh, it does have a comparator prop properties as well if you want to uh, you turn up your trans turn those things on transparency for the line and yeah so move those tolerances up I got a little night turn transparency down take a look at that CAD overlay there if you're if it's something you want to do uh, it's kind of all with that old DXF file give you a little profile if you want um, hopefully uh, this kind of gives you an idea what what I was talking about when we talked on the phone uh, if you have any questions uh, my name is Eric Longton I work for productivity quality um, we do training for measure X measure mind zone 3 and all ProLink products. So uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.